Hello, my name is Tom Pappas and today I'm going to present to you some of the edits that were done to the website that I designed. Um, the following process was completed by me and 18 other participants. There were five separate groups of people that helped me in the editing process of this website. The first group were the grammarians and the second group were subject matter experts, third group was debuggers, and the fourth group were the neophytes. And the fifth group were two class peer reviewers. The first group, the grammarians, their job was to set out and find any grammatical errors or spelling errors within the website. The second group was the subject matter experts. And their job was to go through the portfolio and make sure that all the examples were appropriate for my audience. The third group were the debuggers and their job was to go through the website and make sure that everything was working as far as links, videos, pictures, clip art, animations. And finally, the last group were the neophytes, and their job was just to kind of go through and look and make sure everything looked good. Again, this was a group of people that didn't have any real background knowledge in any areas of the portfolio. The device I used to edit the website was a survey, and this survey had questions that were specifically designed for all areas of the four categories of people that were required to check the website. Um, here is an example of that survey that was given to the participants. These are the questions that were designed for all of the different areas. And there was the last question on here was uh, designed for grammar and spelling errors. It asked participants to identify the page and the words that needed to be corrected. Here are the results of the grammarian portion of my review process. Of the 18 participants that helped me edit this process, 12 of them detected no errors and 6 of the participants did detect errors. However, among those 6 people, over 50 errors were identified and corrected for this section. The next section of the website that was edited was edited by subject matter experts. And in the survey, there were three questions that were designed for this group of people, questions three, six, and seven. And in the survey questions, they were scaling the survey on a one to 10, one being the worst, 10 being the best. And there was also an area for their suggestions. Of the three questions that were answered by the four subject matter expert area people, five received a score of a 10, five received the score of a nine, and two received a score of an eight. Some of the suggestions that they gave to help the website improve were issues of font size, style, letter spacing, and some of the graphic elements. Um, one particular instance, the font was considered hard to read, so I changed the main font of the website to something that was a little bit easier that also matched. The next section that was edited was edited by the tech savvy group or the debugger group. And for this group, I chose the computer teacher at our school, the school improvement plan supervisor, the principal, and a network administrator. And the questions on the survey that were designed for this group were questions 1, 2, 4, 5, and 11. These questions again had a rating scale, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst, and an area for suggestions. Overall, the site did pretty good, receiving um, the score of 10 11 times, receiving the score of 9 6 times, receiving the score of 8 twice, and receiving 1 7. One of the main issues that was fixed for this section was the issues with the videos. Um, the format of the videos was a little bit slow and took time to load, so an alternate solution via YouTube was replaced with the videos and they seemed to work a little bit faster. The next group that was selected to edit the website were the Greenhorns or the Neophyte group. And again, this is a group that knew very little about the subject matter of the website and were asked to just check it over and make sure everything was working well. Um, I had for this section eight participants and of the eight participants, um, they included people like family members, coworkers, and students. The two questions on the survey that were designed for this group were questions 9 and 10. And of the people that rated this part of the survey, I received 8 10s and 8 9s. So overall, this section received very well. Now, after the editing process, some additional pages were added to the website. So if you look on my website now, you will now see the addition of three more pages, which the first one were degree and certificates, uh, 
The second page is letters of recommendation. And the third page is teaching philosophy. The final group that edited the website was a classmate review, and two classmates had to help me review the site. Again, thanks Jeff, and thanks Rebecca for helping me. And as a result of this review, um, again, one issue that was brought up was the issue with the videos and how they were a little bit lagging and taking time to load. And again, most of the videos were edited and reposted through YouTube. Um, the second issue that came up was with the homepage of the website. And the homepage was said to be lacking a little bit of uh, jazziness as the rest of the website has. So one way I helped jazz up that homepage was the inclusion of the post poster that I designed for this website. And hopefully this catches people's eyes a little bit more and helps them really see what the website's all about. So uh, just to conclude, uh, the editing process has been very important to my site. Uh, again, I know my site wouldn't function as well, wouldn't look as good, and probably wouldn't get me the job that I'm looking for in the future had it not been for this process. So I'd just like to take one more time out to thank everybody that helped me in the editing process. And again, I hope you all enjoy it as much as I do. Thank you very much.